We are not shopping at our usual stores today, so I am a little bit out of my comfort zone, but these Granny Smith apples are on sale for 67 cents a pound, so we are definitely gonna grab some of these. AJ's saying, it's cold over here. Is it cold? Good job. HEB sent me a digital coupon for a free box of these crackers, so I'm gonna pick up this original flavor. All right, so this was not on my list, but these turkeys are on sale for 35 cents a pound when you spend $20. So we're gonna pick one of these up because this is a really good deal. HEB sent me a coupon for buy one, get one free on their cheeses. So I'm gonna pick up two of these Mexican style blend cheeses. So we have this yellow coupon for when you buy Eckridge sausage, you will get a free can of ranch style beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up and then I just gotta go find my sausage. I was going to do this deal on the chicken broth. So these are um, five for five dollars, but they have this buy one get one free coupon. But look at this, of course they are out. So these four seed breadcrumbs are $1.58, but we have this 75 cent yellow coupon. So they'll be just 83 cents. So I threw these in the basket, I forgot to film this, but these Stacy's pita chips, I don't know how much these are, like $3.49 or something like that, but Fetch has a free item rebate, so these will be free after I submit my receipt to Fetch. Cody just saw these little snack tray things, he said, that is so Texas. Here is the sausage that I'm gonna get to get those rich style beans for free. Here is another Fetch freebie. So this Life Water is $1.18, and once I submit my receipt to Fetch, I will get $1.18 back. HEB sent me a digital coupon for a free 16 ounce container of sour cream. So we're definitely gonna pick that up. I think these little containers are so cute. They look like a cow. How cute is that? This Kavita drink is another fetch freebie, but we also have an Ibotta rebate for this for 70 cents back. So this will be a 70 cent money maker. I have never tried this. I don't know if it's any good, but we'll give it a shot. Cause hey, I can't say no to free stuff. So here's everything I'm getting minus this doll. This is Aria's doll. Um, but I also have a basket coupon for $5 off when you spend $5. So that's really gonna help out get the cost down of all of my groceries. Okay, we are about to go into Kroger, but I wanted to show you guys that our turkey came out to $3.18. And I also got some coupons. So I got some free bananas when you spend $5 or more, and then $3 off your basket when you spend $3 on fresh meat or seafood. So this stir fry is on clearance for 99 cents. That is a good deal. These things freeze really well. Man, I am missing out on deals today because places are just out of things, but I was gonna grab these green beans because they're 99 cents a pound, but then I also have this coupon for 40 cents off a pound or more, so that was gonna be a good deal, but boo. You guys, look at all this cheese on clearance. They even have some more stuff over here. My goodness, our store never has that much. I don't eat seafood, but look at all this seafood clearance. There's lots of different things. The coupons.com app has a coupon for free cranberry sauce. So this one is just 99 cents. So I'm gonna pick up this whole cranberry sauce. The coupons.com app also has a coupon for free gravy. Now, if y'all have been watching my grocery videos, you know that I have gotten a ton of brown gravy recently. So I think I'm gonna pick up this country gravy. Philadelphia cream cheese is $1.67. I'm gonna get 50 cents back from Ibotta and 50 cents back from Kroger cash back. So 67 cents is an amazing price for these. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up five. So I found these coupons last night at our Kroger while I was doing a little bit of couponing. So it is a dollar off a pie crust when you buy two cream cheeses. Now I'm already buying the cream cheeses, so I just figured why not grab these pie crusts too. So these are $1.97, so they will be just 97 cents after that coupon. You guys, we just went to Dollar Tree earlier today and these same Nature Valley biscuits were in the Dollar Tree for a dollar and look how much they are here. All right, so let's take a look at this meal plan. So I only planned five meals for this next week because we kind of have a lot going on. So on Saturday, my parents are gonna be camping at a campground that's not too far from our house. So we're gonna go hang out with them for the day and probably go to dinner with them. So I didn't plan anything for Saturday. Sunday, we're gonna make potato soup. Monday, we're gonna do barbecue baked potatoes because coupons.com, the app, put out a coupon for free potatoes the other day. So I was at Walmart, so I just went ahead and picked up some potatoes. So I have potatoes and I have some barbecue pork in the freezer. So that meal is taken care of. Tuesday, we're gonna do chicken Alfredo. I have everything on hand for that. Wednesday, we're gonna do pizza. I have everything for that as well. 
Thursday is Thanksgiving, as you probably know, and we already have plans that day, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna be stuffed and not really too hungry by the time we get home. But if we are hungry, I have leftovers in the freezer, so that's taken care of as well. Friday, we're gonna do teriyaki chicken in the crock pot. All right, guys, so we spent the whole day shopping, so it is dark outside now. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit weird in here, but yeah, it is dark. So I'm just working with the light we have in the kitchen, which is kind of horrible. So let's start with what we picked up at HEB. So we got our case of water. We got a five pound bag of potatoes for potato soup. And yeah, I'm gonna try to film that again for you guys because the first time that I tried to film it, I did the whole video, watched the footage, and I hated it and deleted it. So yeah, we're gonna try again. <laughs> I got two onions, and then I got four pounds of this white rice. This was like 64 cents, I believe. This is not gonna be for eating. This is going to be for a sensory bin that I'm making for Aria. I thought it would be fun to maybe dye the rice four different colors and then she can play with the stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I'm probably gonna add some essential oils to it. I think that will be really fun. So that is for her. We got three of the Granny Smith apples. These were 67 cents a pound. And Cody said that he prefers Granny Smith apples. So had to pick those up for him. I picked up two bananas. Aria doesn't really care for bananas, but I thought we would give them another try. It might be a texture thing. I'm not sure. So we're gonna give those a shot again. That's why I only got two. We got two cucumbers because I still have some in the fridge. We got two containers of these panko crumbs because those were like 83 cents, I think. I felt like that was a pretty good deal. And we use this for baked mac and cheese, which Cody loves. So we had to get that. We got a half a gallon of milk. We got the ranch style beans because it was free with the sausage that I got. So we got the sweet onion flavor. Then we got two cans of the HEB olives and the media ones. These are my favorite. Those are really good. I got the life water because it was a fetch freebie as well as this Kavita drink. This was a little money maker. I did want to mention though that when I scanned my receipt, it did not pick up these two items. So I did have to like submit a little ticket thing, but Fetch is really good about correcting their mistakes, you guys. So if that ever happens, just put in a ticket and they will correct it for you. We did pick up this container of sour cream because I had that coupon for free sour cream. And then I got two of the Mexican style blend thick cut cheeses. These were $2.50, but then I had that buy one get one free coupon. So these were $1.25. Not my stock up price, but you know, right now I am desperate for cheese. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Then I got this sausage, the Eckridge Smoked Sausage. This is gonna be the, for the potato soup. I've never used this brand before, but I'm sure it will be fine. I've used all different kinds of brands in my potato soup and it always turns out good. So we picked that up. This was another Fetch freebie. Um, Fetch actually did pick this one up and I got the points back for that. But yeah, we got the Parmesan garlic and herb flavor. Those actually look really good. I've never tried these. And then we got these crackers because these were free and I don't say no to free stuff. So we'll probably do these for lunch one day. And then you guys, my turkey. Oh my goodness, this is a nine pound turkey. Let me see if I can show you. It was originally $11.61, but I paid a little over $3 for it. So we have plans for Thanksgiving, so we will not be eating this for Thanksgiving. This is gonna go straight to the freezer. And I'm thinking we're probably gonna do like our own little Christmas thing, just me, Cody, and Aria on Christmas Eve. And that's when I'm gonna make that. But since this is a nine pound turkey, I'm thinking we could probably get eight to nine meals out of this. So yeah, this was a really good deal for us. So after we finished up at HEB, we went over to Kroger just to pick up a few things. And I have never been to this Kroger before. Cody has been to this Kroger multiple times he said but yeah i've never been there so it was something new for me and yeah i was pretty impressed with their clearance sections the whole store was nice and it wasn't as busy as our store usually is so that was nice so we picked up four bottles of soda because we have fallen off the wagon you guys we are we are back on our soda kick so we got two of the cola one dr k and then one root beer I picked up these stir fry kits because these are an amazing deal. These are 99 cents. 
I actually have one in the fridge right now that I'm going to cook for dinner tonight and its tag says $1.49 so 99 cents was a good deal and I know I've mentioned many times that these things freeze very well so when you see these snatch these up if this is something you like so yeah we got the sesame chili and the mandarin orange I don't think Cody's ever had these but I'm sure they'll be fine he really likes those stir fry kits then I got this Pioneer Country Gravy because of that coupon on the coupons.com app. This was another fetch freebie. I didn't get to film this in the store because my phone was dead. It was done with me. So this is the Off the Eaten Path Veggie Puffs. We picked up the sour cream and onion flavor. Cody originally wanted to get the spicy cheddar flavor, I think it was, but we figured that Aria would prefer the sour cream and onion. I did get five of the Philadelphia cream cheeses. These freeze really well. You guys, I will freeze just about anything. I'm telling you, I will throw pretty much everything in the freezer. So yeah, we got five of those because 67 cents is an awesome deal. And like I said, because I was getting these, I figured why not just go ahead and get these since I had that coupon. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet, but you know, cheesecake does sound really good. Like, I don't know what that is. Those look like cherries, huh? I don't like cherries, but that part of it looks good. So I don't know, I'll make something with it. And then I picked up this whole berry cranberry sauce because of the coupons.com app, the free coupon thing on there. Um, we don't really eat this by itself, but what I do like to do with this is I like to put some chicken in the crock pot and then mix this with some barbecue sauce, pour it over it and cook it for like three hours on high. Cranberry barbecue sauce chicken. It is so good. If you guys have not tried it, you should definitely try that out. And then I didn't show this in the store either because like I said, my phone was dead. But we found this Pace Taco Complete Taco Meat stuff in the clearance section for $1.49. Now, I've never had this before, but I was thinking maybe we can make burritos out of this. I'm not sure. But, you know, $1.49, it's worth a shot. And it's cheaper than buying some meat for it. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right, so after coupons and rebates, my total came to $30.62 for everything I just showed you, bringing me to a final total of $159.38 for the month of November. Cody said that I could spend up to $175, but try to keep it closer to $150, so I feel like I did pretty good this month. If you want to see more of my grocery hauls, I will leave my grocery haul playlist linked down below so you can go binge watch all of those if your heart desires. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.